Hello everybody, this is Ross Buecher from Controlman Icon, and welcome to the Using Scripts tutorial. Controlman Icon has a very unique feature in scripting. It allows you to set up a list of commands, including loops, that you could send to your camera. Now this helps you automate your image capturing process. So let's take a look at what it's like to create a script. First of all, to create a script you need to be connected to your camera. And that's because when we create a script, the scripting engine is going to be talking to your camera and basically asking what it's allowed to do. So if we go to the scripts tab, you can see we have some buttons here for opening and starting and stopping scripts. We even have some help here. And this is the script list, and this is all the commands that are going to be processed in the script. You can see it's blank right now, and here's a list of all the available commands. So all we need to do to build a script is to select some commands from this list on the bottom and put them up top. So let's try a very basic script. Let's tell the camera to capture with, and there's two ways to move this command up to the top. One is you can press the add button, and if you don't want it there, you can hit remove. Or you just double click on it, and it goes up. Now when it's time to start a script, we click on start. So let's try this. All this is going to do is command the camera to capture. Now as you can see we have a green check mark here and that indicates that this command is being successfully executed. You can also have a red X here which indicates that this is an invalid command and we'll take a look how to deal with those in a little bit. So let's add to the script. Let's say I wanted to instead just do a capture with no autofocus and now currently we are in manual mode now some of the commands here are not available for your particular camera I'll give you an example one is setting the exposure mode I'm connected to a D7000 and it has a dial on the camera for setting the exposure mode and you could set it to manual and shutter and aperture and all those other uh, modes however on a camera like a D300 it can be set remotely so if I was to try using this here it really doesn't matter what I try to do here I could set it to speed priority and if I start captured with no autofocus which is fine you see that red X there that means that it tried to execute this command but could not and that's really because this command could not be executed on a D7000. So let's remove this command. Well, let's say before I shoot, I want to set my aperture. So we just double click here, and then you just pick your list of apertures from the list. So uh, let's say I'm going to set it to F8. And then but I want this to happen before we capture, so I'll press the up button to put it before. And let's say we also want to set the shutter speed. And I'll set it for 110. So I'm going to set aperture, then shutter speed. But you know, I'd also like to be able to store this image in a certain location, so I'm just going to scroll down my list. I'll set my image path. And I'm going to tell it just to save to my C drive images. And I'm going to make that my very first command. I'm going to set the image name and I'll use a token. There is a video that describes how to use the various tokens. And that video is called Using Files and Folders. So I'll use at date time one, which will give a date time stamp as a file name. So we have a path, a name, aperture, shutter speed, and now you could set pretty well anything here. Let's just go through the list and see what we have. You could increase or decrease shutter speed or aperture, and a lot of commands are just increase and decrease because you can do loops on here and do a series of images where you increase or decrease one of the camera settings. 
Set the ISO. Exposure delay, and you might want this if you are shooting macro. Image type. Let's see what we have here. So these are all the different types that are available on it. And uh, right now, let's say I want to shoot in raw mode. So I'm going to set that up here. Uh, we can also send a UDP packet. And what this allows us to do is control an external application with your script. So let's say, for example, you're a developer and you've created an application that controls, oh, some macro rails. Okay, maybe you have computer-controlled, uh, motor-driven macro rails. And when Control My Nikon is ready to take a shot, you may want to move the rails. What you could do in the application that you built is to receive UDP packets and uh, Control My Nikon can send a UDP packet to you a particular address. So I might say I want to send a message via UDP to this address, this port, and the message will be move one. Your application will receive that packet, interpret it, and know to move the rails. So you can put any kind of message here that you like. But I'm going to get rid of this, so I'm going to go remove. Okay, let's see what else we have. You could turn live view on and off and increase and decrease your focus. Now, if you wanted to do focus stacking, you could do it through a script, however, it's easier to do it through the live view screen and there's a small focus stacking window there and it's a very easy to set up. And you can start and stop recording video. And there's some miscellaneous items here as well. So let's give it a try. We're just going to run this script. We'll start. And you can see those check marks went all the way through. So, it is done. This has finished successfully. If it ever has an error, and let's say, for example, this line here had an error, had a red X, it will stop execution at this point. It will not continue with the rest of the instructions. So let's try a loop. Let's say I wanted to capture three images with varying apertures. So to do that, we will select the repeat function and I'll tell it to repeat three times. Now, it, this is a repeat block. It put in these two rows and what I want to repeat goes in between these. So I'll move my capture with no auto focus down. Okay, so now it's inside. And I want to increase my aperture. So aperture increase. And I'll do that before I capture the image. So I'm going to start off at F8, then I'm going to increase my aperture. Actually, I'll do it after. So I'll start off with F8, capture an image at F8, then it'll increase the aperture, capture, increase the aperture, capture, and it'll do this a total of three times. Now this is really handy if you wanted to do some lens testing. You could just create a script that runs through all the apertures so you could see what the best sharpness is, or you could even tell it to autofocus at each one of the apertures and just test how well the autofocus system works and uh, how well that lens focuses. So let's give this a try. So I'll start. And there's little blue squiggles there indicate the repeat block. So captured three images. Now there's examples that ship with Control My Nikon and if you go to where Control My Nikon is installed, there's a scripts folder and within that there's a demo folder and there's 10 or 15 scripts in there for you ready to go. Now some of those scripts were built for D300 so uh, some of the commands may not work on your particular camera but for the most part you'll get an idea of how they work and there's a lot of examples there of doing lens tests and focus stacking and HDR. Now if you wanted to save your script, all you need to do is go up to save. And this scripts folder here is in your My Documents. And we'll give it a name. Let's call it Default 1. 
and as soon as you have that it'll show you what the current script is here you can also open which will open to that same folder and then you can open up a different script or you can delete a script or create a new one from scratch now you can also set up a keyboard shortcut to start the script so here is a start script and let's say I wanted to have n start it and m stop it so let's give it a try I'm going to press n on the keyboard and there it gets started it shows the loop and then I'm going to press m to stop it so you could stop it in the middle of the script before the script has completed so that's it that's how you use scripting and control mine icon you could create a lot of really interesting scripts to really test out your camera equipment and do a lot of things that the regular control mine icon application just just can't do at all so give it a try and Happy tethering.